Well, I don't know how old this video is, but it was sent to our private messages in our groups, and I thought I would go through it just for a moment. I looked at it for a minute, and I wanted to go through it and give Danelle some helpful hints. Maybe because I'm helping. I just want to, I want to help. I'm here to help Darley. You know, I'm here to help Danelle. That's that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. Watch. Let's just let's just bite the bullet and and jump into this. I'm Danelle and Darley Tears' baby sister. And um... is there some kind of is that your character name, Darley Tears' baby sister? Is that something to be proud of? Uh, that's would be like me saying hi. I'm Ryan St. John. I'm Ryan Luke's father. That's something to be proud of, or something you know. I don't necessarily think everybody needs to know that my son is what did what he did. But you proclaim it when you get your shirt that says "Darling Ruthier's baby sister." It's about 17 hours. I have been advocating for my sister on TikTok for the last couple of months because I'm tired of hearing other people people give their opinions and saying whatever they want, falsely report. Okay, so here's the thing. She says that we give our opinions and we say whatever we want. But the way that we defeat Danelle is like, it, not just myself, other people too, they'll take what she actually said and then put the truth beside it. You know, back that verifi verifiable truth. Danelle does not do that. She does not go, this is what the no this non-supporter said and this is why they're wrong. This is what this non-supporter said and this is why they're wrong. She doesn't do that. We do that to her. We get her with her own words, but she's tired of hearing it. So let's see. Okay, so when is your, you should, because uh, I'm helping, I want help. You're tired of seeing it, right? You're, you're tired of having to say it over and over again. You're tired of repeating yourself. So what you do is you take the non-supporter where you see them saying these false things that are just completely made up and that are not true, because you haven't done that to me yet. So I guess everything that I'm saying must be true because you haven't done that to me yet. But you take those things you know, that they're saying and you put it in video form with your truth right next to it. And see, and that helps you look like the person that actually knows what the truth is as opposed to just looking like Darlene's baby sister. You know what I'm saying? So I came on here to um, give you guys what I know about the case. And I... And, and probably through this whole rant, she's not going to give any information about the case. Watch. I, 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 I just... I am learning things as I go. I am researching. I am going to misspeak from time to time or confuse things that I'm, I'm human. I'm not an expert. And I have a real life. I do stuff. I am involved in my community. I raise children. I um, work a full-time job. Oh, so you have other things that's more important to you than your sister's life. We understand that that there are other things that are more important to you than your sister's life. You know, if you had the choice to take your child to that ball game or save Darlie's life, you don't, you have more time for your child than you do for Darlie's life, which is honorable. I get it. Um. And I'm not an internet troll, so I don't have all day to read and research and it memorize. Uh, well, see, the thing of it is, is it doesn't take all day. Usually within about five minutes of one of you guys saying something stupid, we can go right into it because yeah, we know where it is and debunk it. It doesn't take all day. See, that's what you don't understand. I wasn't if we're going to be out here saying that she deserves to be where she's at and that she deserves what's going to happen to her, then we should know every fucking line. We should know every period. We should know every exclamation point. We should know all of these facts 100% if we have to research them over and over and over and over and over again. Because if we're wrong, some innocent person dies. That's why we take the time. 
not even allowed to be in the courtroom, so I'm having to read it. I do remember a lot of it, but anyway. She wasn't always in the courtroom. Somebody got pissed off at her because one time she said she's in the courtroom, and that time she said she wasn't. She wasn't in the courtroom the whole, every bit of the trial. She was not. But she was in there some. And there's pictures of her sitting there looking adorable in the courtroom. Yes, I, I want to address this right now. Oh, the finger. We love the finger. When Danelle does the finger, that is serious. There is the finger. Yes. The eyebrows go up. The finger goes up. I'm a grown man, and I can't even stand that erect. But that's the famous finger. <laughs> is named Linda Jones Wilcoxon. She also has a TikTok where this was this picture right here was shared to Facebook, and it was shared to a group. I would assume. Um, for Damon Routier, and this is one of those private groups. Now, I don't know anything about Linda's group, the Damon Routier group, because personally, and it's just, if they are using Damon's name as a profile picture, I would stay away from it. But that's just me, you know. Yes. Why, what, I mean, when you, call us a hater of Darlie, then you're, you know you're actually praising us, right? Because we're not supposed to like baby killers. So if, if people they hate my son, they have every right to hate them. Yeah. I can't go, oh, you're a Luke hater. Well, I mean, he killed a child. I mean, what the fuck? And I do say haters because they are violent attack anybody that thinks differently from them no you just described yourself i've never attacked you but you keep claiming that i have if you consider this retort to what you're saying here as an attack then maybe you need to re, re you know take a look at your stance if you have ever been from any of those facebook groups uh, that have anything to do with Darley being guilty, then you will be able to vouch for this. It is an awful, toxic, vile, hateful place. You know, you know what's awful, toxic, and vile? When you're five and seven years old and you can't even sleep at night because you got your mother right there waiting to kill you. Fifty eight oh one Eagle Drive was a house, but it was not a home. Well, why don't you give us an example of just one of those many lies that you have? Just one. We'll do. That's okay. I don't mind. Do you want. Oh, well, it has to be okay. We don't care if you mind. If you want to live that kind of lifestyle, if you want to live that kind of lifestyle where you defend the justice system when they accurately found a person guilty for killing two children, then you go ahead and do that. If you want to stand up for that, then you go ahead and do that because I don't want anything to do with it. Remember, she looked right at the camera and she didn't stutter. And she, her eyes were directly focused at that camera. She said, I will do anything for Darling. Wouldn't doubt it, would you? Seems do so. But this is where it bothers me. When you take my videos and you purposely say things to bait my family to respond to you. No, we're not We're not baiting you to respond to us because uh, we don't care if you respond to us or not. What we're doing is we're taking what you say and putting the truth right next to it, and you don't like that. I can care less if you ever respond to me because as long as you're on social media and you do what you do, I can respond to you this way and not allow you to get by with these little bullshit tales that you tell. And it pisses you off to no end, to the point that you'll say that I'm harassing you and make up stories about me contacting you, which I never have, because that's how desperate you are. See, the lies that you tell about me 
Danelle, and you and I know the lies that you tell about me. You said that I'd done everything in my power to harass you and your family. Well, you and I know that you're a fucking liar. That leads me to know that you know your sister is a fucking killer. Because I know you're lying. And you know you're lying. Everybody else has to decide on who they feel is more accurate. But I know you're lying about me. I know you make up shit. I know you do that. You know, I know you know. I know you know, I know, I know you know that I know that you know that I know that they know that we know that I know that you know. You know it. See if I can move myself out of the way. So why are you making up stuff, Linda? Because what did Linda make up? All Linda said was, "There's a difference between supporting your family and making up stuff, stuff to fit your agenda, which is a perfectly civil, thought-out comment that you could expect to find in a true crime discussion page." So Darla Key says, "Why are you making stuff up? You know, like she never took a lie detector test." She didn't accuse you of it. Let me stop this. It doesn't seem like she's accusing anyone specifically of anything. She's giving a thought. There's a difference between supporting your family and making up stuff to fit your agenda. So why are you making up stuff, Linda? Okay, let's see what, let's see what she has to say here. Well, my agenda is just to get the truth out there. So if, if you feel like I'm making something up, to get the truth out there, that's fine. I don't care what you think. Your opinion is asinine. Asinine opinion. She just called us hateful, vile, blah, blah, blah. But if we have an opinion, we're asinine. Shortly before this, she said they'll attack anybody whose opinion isn't different than theirs, right? But this person had a different opinion, so they were asinine. So the word asinine would be a weapon of attack. She said it, that we do it, and then she turned and did it herself. researching and learning about the and seeing that you're a fucking idiot that's why you're not out here all the time now doing it like you were before people like myself and our group started calling you out you're not every day you're not every day on here telling lies you're not every day on here doing that anymore we slowed your shit down didn't we real quick slowed your bullshit down real because you know you won't get away with it and you've reported me 16 times in one day. That's how desperate you are to keep your false bullshit out there. And you're desperate. And see, the bottom line, the, the bottom line is this. I would really like to be able to see you guys achieve what it is that you've been working on for so many years. I would be enthralled if you guys found some piece of evidence that not a whole lot of us knew about that definitely shows that she did not do this i would love for that to happen for you guys for devin and damon for eternity you know they wouldn't be the kids that their mother killed they'd be the kids that were killed and their mother suffered fighting her innocence the whole time that would be a beautiful scenario I'd like to see that happen. And if let's say there is this piece of evidence and it shows without a doubt, you know, that, that she's innocent. I wouldn't feel stupid. I'd feel duped by the state of Texas, just like I felt duped by the, by the support system Darla Routier has. I felt duped when I found out that there were lies, when I found out that one thing's being said in public and another thing is being said in private. I felt duped that you guys had me believing she was innocent. I would feel duped by the state of Texas. But I tell you what, I wish that you guys never had to go through any of this. I wish that your Devin and Damon, uh, the loves that, that were in your life were still there. I wish you would have got to, to watch them grow up. I wish that you didn't have to suffer. I wish that your mother didn't have to suffer because if you think about it like this, Danelle and Darlie Key and Dana and her family that we have watched 
these are people that I would like to know in real life. Danelle is very active in her children's lives. So you can tell she's a great mother. She's a nurse, she's a sweetheart. Her husband, coaching, her daughter. I tell you what, I was really impressed when, when I did a message back and forth with her daughter. And I was thinking to myself, after just reading a few lines, this is a very level-headed young lady. She did not go off on me. She did not attack me. She gave logic and reason to the whole situation. And I had a lot of respect for that. Because, you know, in my opinion, a part of her being such a level-headed young lady is that she had good parenting, part of it, not all of it. So I was impressed by that. That's why I won't bother her again. She didn't get rude at all, at all with me, and she should have, but she didn't. But uh, I would want them to have what they want. I really have always said that, and in my heart, that's what I believe. I'd want them to find her innocent, but I'd want them to prove it. I really would, and people think that we don't. But for me, I can speak on that, that I'm not a hater in that sense. to my page and you purposely do this to bait my mother and then you go back well you know i really don't think that linda said this purposely to bait your mother hmm let me make up this really well thought out civilized adult comment to bait darlie key with if darlie key can be baited by this kind of comment then maybe she should just sit back and watch and not not let these people bother her so much you know, maybe she's, how is that purposely baiting? If I wanted to purposely bait Darley Key, I'd say, look here, Darley Key, you're a lying ass. And you don't tell nothing, that, that's what I would do. I wouldn't, you know, there's a difference between supporting your family and making up stuff to fit your agenda. That's not a purposeful bait. It's not hateful, it's not vile. It's not. Mama Darley, right, has been known, and you've even said to say whatever. You say you don't want me to turn on Mama Darley, turn into Mommy Darley on you, because that won't be good for any of us. So yeah, when Mama Darley comes out and speaks, she kind of makes ass out of herself, because as you can see by her retort, Linda didn't make anything up. Get lost, you're a loser, that's hateful. And in that in this rant, she didn't give any information about the case. She didn't give any information about how somebody has lied. And she turned into what she said we were. Right then and there. See, Danelle as a person, I think she's a wonderful person. She's someone that I would like to know. You can you can see that she's lovable. You can see that she uh, has empathy for kids. You can see, I mean, she's the type of person that I would, would be proud to know. You know, I like, I like, you know, one of the Cole's best friends is a busybody. She's retired military and she's still very young. And she's dedicated the rest of her life to Girl Scouts, church, uh, PTA, outside activities for the kids that her life is about packing that kid that, that van up with kids and traveling she took our child to washington dc she took our child to uh hershey pennsylvania to see the hershey uh factory and and you know that's she her life is dedicated to it and i can see a lot of, her name is uh desiree and i can see a lot of danelle in that you know when i when she comes to to pick the girls up she's got a van load of kids and she's trying to get here and there and she's really excited about being able to do this stuff and i i see danelle there i see her as a really good person and don't uh, let us sink in for a minute 
is that people don't like it when we sometimes the non-supporters they don't like it when we say something good about the other side. It's not Danelle that I don't like. It's the behavior. And I know where that behavior comes from. It doesn't come from Danelle. It comes from what she's been taught all her life. Now she can hate me all she wants. And, and that's fine. You know? I don't think it's funny. It's, it's not always. Sometimes it's fun to get back at her. All right? But for the most part, I understand that this is a victim that I'm fighting with. A victim's not always an excuse, though. Look how sad her face looks. Look how much younger she would look if she didn't have to deal with this stuff that she has to deal with. I have empathy for her. Most of us have empathy for her. We don't have empathy for the bullshit lies. We don't. As long as you're out there telling them, now, we're going to be out here to debunk them. On the other hand, you know, I wish you guys did not have to suffer. If there was something I could do to take away the suffering that your family has felt for all these years, I would sure do it if I had a chance to. There's facts on that. Because that's reality. I, we don't want to hate Darla Key. In fact, she's a tough old cookie. I like people like that around me. You know, but you have to be smart about it, too. You can't be tough and stupid. I'll give you an, an example of tough and, and brilliant, and that's Pamela Collins. She's as sweet as can be. Pam is. Oh, yeah. Very proper. Very classy. Her behavior is consistent. But if you piss her off... <laughs> Uh, uh, she is like one of the favorite, most favorite people that I've ever met, and I've never, never met her face to face. But her behavior on here has been consistent. She takes so much bullshit from you people, and that she—that's a good woman, and she's got a good family. Go ahead and piss her off once, and even when she's getting it, we get mad. She comes back with class. <laughs> She can tell you what a fucking piece of shit sorry bastard you are with a class. And out of all my uh, social media years and everything that I've been, been through on social media with different cases and all this stuff, the most important lesson that I got from anybody on social media was came from straight from Pamela Lake Collins. But Danelle, we wish you the best. We really do. I guess we have a few more days, about seven days, before we find out what happens. Uh, on the 30th, I supposed to, they're supposed to make some kind of ruling with this D DNA. I'm not exactly sure. I have to go back. You know, it would be nice if there was a DNA in there. Say, oh, no, it's this guy over here. and he. You know what? I'd love for that to happen. I'd love for it not to be darling. We don't want it to be, darling. It just is. Piece of chicken grease, y'all. Much love. <laughs>